Um, the problem is we have not gotten any counteroffers from our partners on the other side of the aisle. No budget from the Senate and no proposal from the White House that actually deals with this problem. Um, the president's budget dramatically increases the debt. He came out with a speech, which the CBO tells us they can't score a speech. So we really haven't had any actual specific credible alternatives from the other side of the aisle on how to achieve this. So we've put a lot of details out there. We're hoping our partners on the other side of the aisle do the same. And yeah, I think we could do this by the end of a month's time. Well, uh, you know, it's interesting what you're saying. I mean, I, I don't know that most people understand that you haven't gotten anything from the other side or, or uh, I guess in, in some people, in some corners, they would argue with that. Why haven't you seen a budget proposal from the Senate side, for example? I mean, and how long has it been? It's been about 800 days since the Senate bothered to pass a budget. Mind you, our law here requires every year Congress pass a budget by April 15th. We've done that. But they haven't for about two years now. Um, I think the reason they didn't do it is because they don't want to show people the kind of tax increases they have in store for the American people, for the economy.